since 1948. The National Wrestling Alliance has historically been the largest sanctioning body in professional wrestling. We dig the cooling air sun setting tonight. You gotta make your mark load up on the road in ten. One last look in the mirror. They're gonna know your name. Once again, welcome to another edition of NWA Championship International Wrestling. I'm Norm Weimer. Things continue to explode here in the NWA Championship International Wrestling. I want to put this on your calendar. It's Saturday night, May the 17th. Saturday night, May the 17th. Your next time NWA Championship International Wrestling comes to the International Boxing Club, 525 Earlwood Avenue in Oregon, uh, right by East Toledo. All right. In this edition of NWA Championship International Wrestling, we're going to have a big tag team match coming up. The Sons of Michigan will take on a pair of jacks. The ending of this is absolutely unreal, and we'll start things off in this edition, and we'll see D-Ray 3000 as he takes on Louis Perez. Andy Shane, do you see this? Do you remember this? <laughs> I hope you do. You see, I keep your hair in my bag everywhere I go to remind me of what you did to me, what you took from me. And I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how many people in WACID puts in front of me. I'm eventually get back to you. Yeah, and see, cutting your hair was just the beginning. Because there's a lot more I got in store for you. Ladies and gentlemen, our first match is scheduled for one fall. First in this corner, weighing in at 245 pounds from Dallas, Texas, Louis Perez. And his opponent. He is accompanied to the ring by Dr. Jerry Graham, Ooh. weighing in tonight at 202 pounds from Phoenix, Arizona, D-Ray 3000. I tell you what, Norm, this is something that I really never thought I would see. D-Ray 3000 in the ring with Dr. Jerry Graham, managed by Dr. Jerry Graham. Well, it's, it's amazing what can happen when somebody just uh, uh, has uh, gets frustrated and wants to start taking shortcuts. Okay, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous, saying they want to see Louis Perez's green card before this match starts. Is that what he said? That's what he said. Uh. Graham gets more obnoxious every week, and I didn't think that was possible. NWA Championship International Wrestling. Basically a new DA 3000 taking on Louis Perez. Collar and elbow to start us. Louis Perez early advantage backing D-Ray into the corner. Clean break. Well, I spoke too soon. D-Ray throwing off Louis Perez. Perez fires back. Beal out of the corner. D-Ray goes up and over. Oh, D-Ray's hot right now. Dropped toe hold. It's all Louis Perez, Norm. All Louis Perez so far. And we've seen Louis Perez come so close on so many occasions here in the National Wrestling Alliance. Will this be it? There's the whip in. D-Ray ducks the elbow, holds on. Oh. Russian leg sweep, and that about shuts down Louis Perez. D-Ray on top for the cover. Doesn't put him away, though. I'm not sure that there is a finer technician in the ring 
than D-Ray 3000. And D-Ray 3000 is so good at what he does, and I understand he's upset because he feels maybe some opportunities were taken away from him, but that's no reason to align yourself with Dr. Jerry Graham, and he's all over Louis Perez with those chops. Perez sent in, hits the ropes, D-Ray off. Oh. Flying forearm, he got everything on that. I mean, certainly, Norm, D-Ray is fired up right now. Well, uh, there's no question he's fired up. Well, this is going to be bad news for Louis Perez. Well, see, now this is the part he doesn't have to do. No. And this is the part he doesn't have to do either. Exactly. Dr. Jerry Graham all over Louis Perez while the referee is distracted. And apparently this is what D-Ray 3000 thinks is going to take him to the promised land, that NWA championship. Snap mares him over, floats right on top, one, two, and Perez kicks out. The thing is, though, and D-Ray's trying to... Whoever this guy is? Yeah, thanks. Doctor to remember my name. Perez goes down after a nice exchange. We're sitting with Mike Seeger from uh, Red Wing Shoes, who's at our broadcast table. And uh, Dr. Jerry Grimm had a few words for him, then you, Norm, and then for me. Yeah, he got the whole panel here. <laughs> yeah, he covered everyone in one fell swoop. But here comes Louis Perez back. A lot of fight in Perez. He's going to send D-Ray in. Reversal. Perez hits the ropes. Perez ducks. Oh, oh and D-Ray a little too overconfident Yeah, there. absolutely. He got caught by his own arrogance. You can't underestimate anybody here. No, there's a reason why they're here. You're three seconds away from getting beat, and it doesn't matter who you are. Look at this belly to belly. Oh, he got everything. And he's right in the center. Goes for a cover. Now they got a two count. D-Ray kicks out, which is good. Well, Dr. Doc, Jerry Graham, wow. who a second ago was beside himself, is grabbing Louis Perez. You can't do that. Well, he's all over the eyes of Louis Perez right now. Well, as soon as Louis Perez gets the upper hand, then you get Dr. Jerry Graham injecting himself into the match. And that's what he does. That's what he does best. Same old Dr. He's Jerry very, Graham. very good at it, whether you like him or you don't like it. Scoop slam has D-Ray up. Look at this. Look at that. He's got to capitalize. He's all oh. D-Ray goes right into the eyes. Right to the eyes. That's one way to break up the pin attempt. Now, there's that influence. Wonder where he learned that from. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you give it three guesses, and the first two don't count. Louis Perez is in here, and he's battling. And D-Ray floats out the back door oh. and catches him with and a neck breaker. Absolutely. Two, three, and he got it. And that's it. Here is your winner, D-Ray 3000. Uh oh, see, now this is unnecessary. Yeah, there really is no reason for this. This is just doing this because you can. And look at that. Dr. Jerry Graham and D-Ray 3000 just laying the boots to Louis Perez, who gave D-Ray 3000 really all he could handle And D-Ray 3000, he doesn't care about anybody, doesn't care about the fans anymore. But I tell you what, he better be careful because he thinks Dr. Jerry Graham has his back. And you're never sure if he's got his back or there's going to be a knife right in the middle of it at some point. If Dr. Jerry Graham realizes the money train is going to run out, he's going to move on to the next guy. But as for today, your winner is the ray 3000 NWA Championship International Wrestling. Well, listen up, fans. If you would like to raise money for your school, club, or civic organization and see the excitement of NWA Championship Wrestling live in your hometown, then this message is for you. High school athletic departments, sports teams, fire and police departments, JCs, or any group wishing to raise money, then bring the stars of NWA Championship Wrestling to your town for a night of action, then call Stacy at 517 425 1110. 
your fundraising group, and the NWA, an unbeatable tag team. Head Drop Productions is the premier video production company in the Midwest. HDP can help capture any event from sporting events, weddings, commercials, and much, much more. Visit HeadDropProductions.com for a complete catalog of past wrestling events. DVDs are only $15 shipped anywhere in the continental United States. If you can't make it live, take it home with Head Drop Productions. Since 1905, Red Wing Shoe Company has been making purpose-built work footwear. The skilled employees in our three U.S. factories build over 1.2 million pairs of shoes annually. We are the largest Red Wing shoe dealer in northwestern Ohio with over 2,500 pairs in stock. Since 1982, three generations of the Sager family have helped you with your Red Wing shoe purchase. Stop by our newly renovated store at 2122 North Reynolds Road. Shoes and boots that have served generations of hard-working people. L&B Photography are the official photographers of NWA CIW, a unique photo studio specializing in maternity, newborn, children, family, senior, and event photography. Hours are by appointment only. Please call 517-270-1220. Located at 200 East Main Street, Hudson, Michigan, we are willing to travel to preserve all your special moments. The Screen Printing Factory, 2562 Parkway Plaza, Maumee, Ohio, is just off Anthony Wayne Trail in South Detroit. Are you looking for a custom design? we got you covered. Are you looking for a quick turnaround? We've got you covered. Are you looking for a dependable and reliable company? We've got you covered. No hidden charges here at the Screen Printing Factory. From 12 shirts to 1,000 shirts, each order is important to us. So stop in and see Ben or Jason and let them help you build your image. The Screen Printing Factory. we got you covered. All right, back we are with more NWA Championship International Wrestling. Don't forget, May the 17th at next time, NWA Championship International Wrestling at the International Boxing Club in Oregon, Ohio, near East Toledo. All right, your main event here in this edition. We've got a big tag team match for you, a pair of jacks. And you may have seen one jack, maybe you haven't seen the other, but this is a dynamic tag team, and they will battle the Sons of Michigan and you know if the Sons of Michigan are wrestling, that T.K. Parker is in their corner. Tag team action coming your way right now. Sons of Michigan, see, one thing is this, and one thing is that. But one thing that you're not, you're not a set of bad boys that we have to run around here and quake in our boots. Because see, Jack Verville <laughs> and the serial killer, Jack Thriller, we've been around the block. Oh yes, we've had our shares of black eyes. Oh yes, ain't that right, Jack? That's right, that's right. We get beat up a whole lot. We get beat up a whole lot, but there's never been a match that we've given up. <laughs> no. We're not a whole lot alike. You look at Jack Thriller, you look at Jack Verville, we're not a whole lot alike. But we bond because we know there's no quit in the other one. We bond because we go out there each and every night and we go and scrape and we claw and we get back up and we're gonna take out the Sons of Michigan because this is a fight. Saturday night, Toledo, Ohio, here we come. Joseph Stalin once said, there's no such thing as an invincible army. Crimson, the Sons of Michigan took out the Dead Wrestling Society in NWA CIW. You could say that the Dead Wrestling Society is dead. Look at this crimson. It fits really good. <laughs> you see, we don't fear you, crimson. Conrad. You may have everyone else scared here in NWA CIW. The Sons of Michigan are different. We're Detroit bred. We fight for a living. And we're not afraid to stare the devil in the eye and smack him in the face. Or put him through a couple of chairs. <laughs> Which leads us to tonight. <laughs> Jack Thriller. Jack Verville. Pair of Jacks. <laughs> you have no idea what you're stepping into. You see, the Sons of Michigan have a renewed purpose. The NWA is not going to hold us down anymore. And we're going to prove the Sons of Michigan is the entity to fear 
in NWA, CIW. Hail to the victors. Our next match of the evening is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a total combined weight of 357 pounds from Grand Rapids, they are Jack Thriller and Jack Vervel, the pair of Jacks. And their opponents are coming to you tonight by their manager, T.K. Parker. At a total combined weight of 424 pounds, from Detroit, Michigan, they are Amazing Nate Madsen and Big Bear Benjamin Boone, the Sons of Michigan. Hey, they're always trying to tell you which one's the right hand. We know. I they're agree. always pointing at the right hand. I mean, we know which one's the right one. Some days I'm thankful for that knowledge. NWA Championship International Wrestling, Sean Boomer Bratton, along with Norm Waymer, and true, everyone in this match from the state of Michigan, however, only two claim to be sons of Michigan. That's the Big Bear Benjamin Boone and the amazing Nate Madsen, managed, of course, by T.K. Parker. Their opponents, a pair of Jacks, Jack Verville, Jack Thriller. We've seen Jack Thriller before that awesome three-way with Chase Owens and Trey Miguel. These guys can go, but we know the Sons of Michigan can go. I'm ready for a good one here. I am so ready for a good one. And we're waiting to see who's going to start as the referee's trying to keep things uh, somewhat calm before the opening bell. Looks like it's Jack Verville. And the amazing Nate Madsen to start things off. Well, we, we saw Jack Thriller in that uh, great uh, three-way match, a triangle match for the NWA World Junior Heavyweight Championship, and he was absolutely terrific. What a match that was. One of my all-time favorites, Norm, to call. And we've had the opportunity to call so many great matches here in the National Wrestling Alliance. Just being at ringside for that match, and that's one where you can always find it on our YouTube channel. Watch it over and over again because it's a clinic. And I uh, I haven't seen Jack Ravel, but uh, I hear a lot of good things about him. And I know he's ready to uh, make a good impression. Pair of Jacks, what a great team name. It's very catchy and of course reflects the fact that both of them are named Jack. That probably explains why. Yeah, I know, I know. My side career is a rocket scientist. You <laughs> right. might not know that. Well, then it's probably a good idea they tell uh -huh. you which one's the right hand. And, you, so and, that's and a... you just thought I was the president of the Justin Bieber fan club. There was a lot more to <laughs> wow. me than that. Wow. I didn't know that either. I'd get you an autograph. Uh, that's all right. Nate Madsen off the rope. Shaq for Ville hops back up. Catches Madsen with a hip toss. Nice deep arm drag. Madsen goes over. Actually, tomorrow is just a Bieber day. It's 4:20. Really? Yeah, it's 4:20. So. All right. All right. I, I can't wait to stick around for that. I think he celebrates 4:20 every day. <laughs> What? You set me up for that. Why are we talking about that? Well, we got a great tag team match going on here. Hit me up for an autograph. <laughs> Pulls him over a handful of tights. <laughs> I could probably sell it on eBay. You probably could. I know I've sold a few. <laughs> I mean, the president has its perks. Both wrestlers up to their feet now. Reveal trying to get out of it. Goes right into the face of the amazing Nate Madsen. Who is also one of the top light heavyweights in the world. But Nate Madsen and uh, Ben Boone have been together for quite some time, and they are a well-oiled machine when it comes to tag team wrestling. Look, Look at that. that. That was all leverage. It's a total leverage move by Nate Madsen. That was a nice reversal into a top wrist lock. Reveal goes down. Madsen inflicts a little extra damage. Pulls Reveal back up, side headlock. Is Verville going to be able to fight back out of it? Takes Madsen into the ropes. Sends him across. Big shoulder tackle. Verville goes down. Madsen off the ropes. Lots of energy. Caught with a high hip toss. Scoop slam. Verville sends him down. Look at this. Look a at nice this. Drop kick. 
No timeouts. Masson is smart. He goes to the outside. T.K. Parker Look really more needs to regroup the troops. That is an impressive rally. Get back in there. Get back in my ring. But, you know, the sons of Michigan, they're smart. Gets a little too fast, or, and they're going to slow it down. And it's not too often it gets too fast for Nate Madsen. It's going in the wrong direction. Oh, there's no timeouts. What's with the timeout? And I think the Big Bear oh, Benjamin Boone is going to make his first appearance. Gee, I wonder where that arrogance comes from. A lot of pop and Speaking of arrogance, look who's here. I hope you guys are showing Nate Matz in the proper respect. He is the man that last month beat Chase Owens. He's terrific. We, we say it all the time. We say it all the time. He's terrific. There's no question. He is the uncrowned champion, and you guys know it. I don't know about that. I mean, it was a phenomenal match. But he is one of the top light heavyweights in the world. There's no question about that. And he came so close to, to beating Nitro a few months ago hey, here in the NWA. I have all, res all the respect for these guys' ability in the ring. I just wish they didn't go about it the way they go about it. Well, exactly. Because they don't need to. Well, try to take shortcuts. We've talked about that before. Going to be very hard for Jack Thriller to take the big bear Benjamin Boone off of his feet. Now, I'm not sure Ben Boone's elevator goes to the top floor. No. And I term it that way because I'm not sure he knows what that means. And he trips him up with the drop down off the ropes. Oh, look at that Thriller. I told you, he is terrific. Head scissors, has him, spins him. Oh. And holding him right in that corner to tag in Jack Verville. I would, Jack's going to town. I would pay money to see Jack Thriller wrestle anywhere. I mean, he is, he is terrific. And it's so good that he's here in the National Wrestling Alliance. I was so impressed by that three-way match that he was in for the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship. It came within an eyelash of dethroning Chase Owens. And so many people that night came to me and talked about that match. Oh. So many people who have watched it online have talked about that match. Stole the show. It did, it really did without a doubt. Thriller stays on that arm of Ben Boone. Boone tries to break it. A lot of quick tags. That's smart, that's what the pairs of Jack has to do, side rush and leg sweep. Thriller floats through, Jack reveals in. Oh. See, Houston, see they, already, they already tagged before that move. Referee out of position. But it gave them the opportunity for Verville to just float over to go right for the tag versus the referee saying, hey, you're not the legal man. Well, Ben Boone's the powerhouse of this match, there's no question, but they're not giving him a chance. No, not at all. Quick tags, quick moves. I like these guys. Double suplex. Thriller's on top, has that leg hooked. All the body weight on top stays on that arm as Ben Boone kicks out. Not letting go for a second. Reversal, Thriller hits. Thriller slides out the back. Rolls through. Tag to Verville, who's up top. Goes up and over. Oh! But unfortunately, just steamrolled by the Big Bear. Well, it shows you how good the Sons of Michigan are. You make one mistake, and there's where you end up. You end up on your back in their corner, and they're beating the stuffings out of you. And T.K. Parker is there. The oh, look at that. Capitalized. Look at that. Nate Manson just spit on Jack Thriller. And spit right on it. And three on one. Oh, and then, of course, T.K. Parker, yep. Thriller gets agitated, obviously, because of lack of respect Come. shown to him, and that opens up the door for the three on well, one. Well, Nate Manson spit right on Jack Thriller, and he's better than that. That's ridiculous. Right into the eyes of Jack Verville. Yeah, and then now gonna lose use the laces of the boots. And Verville half in the ring, half out. Nate Matson uses that leverage, and now he's right in front of TK Parker. This is the wrong place to be. TK, get it out of Ben Boone, yeah, well, you knew he was going to get involved somehow. That's just disgusting. Well, this is doing. where you almost need a second referee. And we've always talked about that for tag team matches, for 
big matches where you know it's going to be very intense. Do you have that second official? We've not been able to make that happen, but obviously would be very much needed and I'm sure appreciated right now for this contest. He's pulling him out of the ring, or out of the corner, I should say, bringing him back up to his feet. Has him cinched. Well, this is what the Sons of Mission do very, very well. And just T-bones him on that. They're able to isolate you. Quick tags. And work you over. I mean, this is this is this is classic textbook tag team wrestling now. And Boone pulls down the knee pad. Things are gonna get worse for Verville. And that knee right to the temple. Boone's right on top, and that's really all Jack Thriller can do is break up the count. You know, unfortunately, there are some ramifications from doing that, which is now just opening up the door for a Sons of Michigan double team. If there's a small chance for a double team, Norm, you know the Sons of Michigan are going to take it. Oh, absolutely. Legally or illegally. Yeah, exactly. Most times illegally. They're not worried about that five count, or perhaps they could get away with it. Look at that. The Ville tried to get up to his feet, just dumped the big He did. He was going to try and walk Ben Boone over to his corner. And that was getting dangerously close to the pair of Jacks corner, so Boone does the right thing and just hauls Verville into the Sons of Michigan corner. Oh, God. Cannonball right in. And that'll take the air right out of you. And what's bad is the air was taken out of Verville about five minutes ago. Fisherman suplex right here. Fisherman Bustery about dropped him head first oh. on that. Matson's on top, Thriller Arrogant again, cover. doing what he has to do, which is breaking up the count. And the real school boy oh, look at that. is on top, but unfortunately the Big Bear, there was only a count of one, the Big Bear Benjamin Boone was right there. Yeah, another reason why the Sons of Michigan are so good. It's like they can read each other's minds, their thoughts, they know exactly where their partner is, and that's why they've had as much success as right. they've had. They work as a unit. They work as one. And the look of utter disgust on the face of the big bear. Has that bear hug applied? Just right on the ground. Wrapping him up, trying to suck all that life right out of him. And his weight's on top of him as well. Yep. So if you're revealed, you've got to deal with a 265 pound behemoth on top of you. And that jawbreaker out of nowhere, it was all Verville could do in that point. Verville's off the ropes. Maybe should have gone for a tag. Absolutely, he should have went for a tag. And Boone just throws him down. And he didn't. And he paid for it. You know, that opportunity for some extra offense to exact some revenge, it's so high, but you have to do the smart thing, which is make the tag. Knees up, though. Knees up. Now's your opportunity. Madsen's in, and he misses. In the tag, the Jack Thriller. He's going to town on the Sons of Michigan. Oh, look at that uppercut. That big clothesline. Whip tosses him out of the corner. Oh! Slapped him you, in the next week. Oh, you heard it. Boone is able to break up the cover, though, slowing down Jack Thriller. Because it's still two on one. Verville tries to make his way back into the ring. Is he going to be any good at this point? We're going to find out. Pulls that rope down. Boone goes to the outside. Oh, look at this. Catches him. Oh! We could have an upset. He's right on. One, the two. Three. Oh! Oh, I thought we had an upset. Dropped him down face first with an assist. Flatliner with an assist, you should say. Double super kick misses. Boone is in. Oh! Spear in the code breaker. Madsen floats over on top. Oh, no! Thriller kicked out! I thought that was it, Norm. Yeah, I did too. How did Jack Thriller kick out of that? Well, 
not well, sure. But you the, know what? Maybe he should have. Well, the problem is his partner's on the outside. Because this doesn't look good. Oh! The Masson misfired. Bruno takes advantage. Oh! Stutter! Uh oh, But there's TK Parker pulling out a chair. Trying to slide the chair to whoever can take it. Matson is reaching for it. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. No, that's not going to work. Oh, oh that might do it. Decapitation clothesline. And that's it. Sons of Michigan, your winner. Your winners of the match, the Sons of Michigan! And quite frankly, a pair of jacks doesn't beat three of a kind. No, unfortunately. And that is three of a kind. And the interference from TK Parker almost backfired, but the pair of jacks unable to overcome the odds and just putting the boots on. Oh, no, look at this! Over. Reveal's going to try and get back in the ring. He slides in. He sends the Sons of Michigan packing. And T.K. Parker's in there. I'm not sure what T.K. Parker's trying to do. I don't know either. Well, this is idiotic. Well, wasn't a good move for T.K. Parker. No. That was not smart. And notice the Sons of Michigan not hustling to get to uh, oh, gee, to which get into the ring. Which one gets the shot first? Jay Thriller says, no, nah, let me have the first shot. I hope they both get it in. Oh, what they can do. do! Oh, my good pile driver? Spike pile driver! Now the oh, no, here come comes in. Dave Manson. Oh! Now we see the chair come into play. And as I said once again, a pair of jacks does not beat three of a kind. Oh, now what are they going to do? How many chairs do we have? Looks I like don't know, but they got two. Two of them in the ring. And Nate Madsen just grabbing Jack for Ville. Well, what are they going to do here? I have no idea, but this it's not going to be good for Ville. Come on! Oh, come on! Oh! Just sends him right through those chairs. Then we have our commissioner. Come on, that's enough. That is enough. We don't do this. That is enough. Get them out of here. Enough. We don't do this. Stop. Stop it. Stop. I want you to stop. Enough is enough. We don't do this in NWICOW. We don't do this. You don't do this. No, you're not going to do this. Not in my ring. No. Thank heaven somebody's going to stop this. No, you're this. not. No, not in my ring. You've got to be kidding me. You're going to threaten me with a chair now? Huh? We don't do this. Enough. Stop. Hey, what are you going to do about it? You'll see what I'm going to do about it. Enough. Somebody stop this. Someone's got to do something about this. This is ridiculous. Absolutely, this is ridiculous. Enough. We don't do this here. No. This is not a gang fight. Uh, it is at the Sons of Michigan. This is professional wrestling. Stop this. Yes. As a matter of fact, you're suspended, all three of you, indefinitely. Well, it's about Definitely. time. It's about time somebody stood up. They're out of here. That's it. You're all gone. Suspended indefinitely. Well, it's about time. Or well, security tries to come in to get the chairs away from the sons of Oh, Michigan. somebody's got to get the commissioner out of there. They've lost their minds. What little they had. It's about time something like this happened. And Ben Boone's gone nuts. He is. Well, it's going to cost him in the pocketbook. There are rules in this company. There are rules in this company. 
You can't come in here and do whatever you want. Yeah, they just broke those rules. You can't. You can't. Hey. You can't. Uh, ben Boone is back. Ben Boone may never wrestle here again. Us. These people come to see us. All right, there you have it. An unbelievable ending to the match. This may be the single greatest day that I have ever had in professional wrestling to see T.K. Parker in the Sons of Michigan suspended indefinitely. We don't know if that means a month, two months, six months, five years. Who knows? They are suspended indefinitely, and it is about time the commissioner, Angel Bailey, stood up and did something about what was going on here in NWA Championship International Wrestling because this is where thugs are at. This is where professional wrestlers wrestle. All right, coming up on next week's show, you will see the big 400-pound monster terror con with Benjamin Harley in his corner. And what you're going to see is this is for the NWA Great Lakes Heavyweight Championship. This title is being reactivated. We will have the vacant title coming up for you next week, and it will be a battle. We'll talk all about that coming up next time. All right, circle that date, May 17th, the next time at the International Boxing Club, and we'll see you back next week. This is NWA Championship International Wrestling.